In this video, I am going to show you how you can run Dream Booth fine tuned stable diffusion models on Google Colab. You can follow the same instruction to be run locally on any Linux instance. Dream Booth is a training technique that updates the entire diffusion models by training on just a few images of a subject or style. It works by associating a special word in the prompt with the example images. If you are training on a GPU with limited VRAM, you should try enabling the gradient checkpointing and mix precision parameter in the training command, by the way. Anyway, let's go to our Google Colab and we will get it installed. I will also drop the link to this paper about Dream Booth in video's description. Now, this is my Google Colab. The first thing we need to do is to enable the T4 GPU. So go to runtime change runtime type and T4 GPU, which is free from Google. So thanks to Google for this generosity. Let's install some of the prerequisites. And these are the usual suspects like Transformers, Gradio, FTFI, Accelerate, and few others. So let me run it. And it is going to take a bit of a time. Okay, so I was running other Google Colab, so I'm just going to terminate this session. Let's run it again. Okay, let's wait for some. Okay. Let's wait because it takes a bit of a time. We'll rerun it. At this time, it is running. So let's wait for it to finish installing all the prerequisites and then importing them as you can see here. So it is progressing well. And one unusual package you might see in this is FTFI. This is simply a package which fixes the text for you. So, for example, sometimes, especially in UTF uh, encoding, you see some special characters appearing in the text. So if you apply this FTFY, then it just fixes it and removes those special characters. Okay, so let's wait for this one to finish. It won't take too long now. Okay, that is done. Second step is to log into our hugging face. And once you click here, it just asks for you for hugging face token for that go to hugging face website huggingface.co and then on the top right click on your profile picture go to your profile click on settings on the left and then click on access tokens and then grab the access token from here if you don't have any token just click on new token and then give it a name and you will get a token so i already have it i'm going to copy it go back to my Colab and then login. And you can see that my login is successful. Now let's load the model. And the model which we are going to use is a very simple small model. Let me show you which one. It is called as it's a fine-tuned one with Dream Booth as we as this is what we are doing, as you can see. And you can remove this just to make sure it's all clean. It is called as Cat Toy. So really heads off to the creator of this who has created and fine-tuned it in Dream Booth we are putting it on the gpu that is why we have specified cuda here let's run it and it is going to load the model model is not that huge as you can see here it's a very very small model just under two gigs so let's wait for this one to finish and you can see that the model is downloaded and now let's run the gradio which puts a nice user interface around uh, the model and we can then talk about it so in this one this is all gradio commands where we are defining the gradio blocks in which way there will be some html there will be some text boxes and stuff so for example here this is one of the examples but let's run it to see it's running let's wait appear you can access it on this url by the way or you can also access it here within colab this is the beauty of it now you can play around with a lot of toys let me go with uh, one of the prompt uh, from the creator so i'll just say sks toy floating in the bowl of ramen Let's go with maybe two samples. Click on run and then it is going to create something here. Let's wait for it to come back. 
and of course the more powerful powerful gpu you would have the more faster it will run there you go so we have two samples and there is a sks floating in the bowl of ramen now you can do a lot of things here because it's toy model i'll just say uh toy maybe sks toy yes toy swimming in bondi beach among people let's see what it comes up with and maybe i'll go with a one sample next time just to speed it up let's wait for it to come back there you go so it has doesn't look like bondi beach but anyway pretty good i should say okay, let's see i'll give it another prompt i'll say a ninja mom fighting with sks try see and i'll just keep the sample to one this time okay doesn't look like a proper one okay maybe i'll just say yes try getting married still not there as you can see let's try one more thing photo of sks toy riding a horse let's see what happens this time now while it runs let me tell you about something this approach which we which is being followed at this one uh, dream booth i mean so this uh, research is basically presenting a new approach for personalization of text to image diffusion models and given as input just a few images of subject uh, you can find you on a pre-trained text to image model um, such that it learns to bind a unique identifier with that specific subject and then you can easily run it with so for example this model has been trained with few images especially i think focus on sks toy because it has been a toy model so similarly the idea behind this is that if you have images of your own use case you can fine tune a model stable diffusion mean uh, one i mean and then with that you can simply fine tune it on your own images and then you can use a text prompt to generate more images so that is the whole idea behind it. so if you have such use case you want to do it locally free collab on your local system i believe this is a good way of doing it i will drop the link to this paper in video description try it out let me know what do you think uh, of course, it's not as good as um, the full versions and the full beefy models, but for a local use case, a simple tiny use case, this is a good one, I guess. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you have already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps. Thanks for watching.